Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Haley responds to Pelosi's climate committee. Does protecting God's creation include babies? Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley questioned whether House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's commitment to protecting God's creation extended to include babies. On Thursday, Pelosi tweeted, We have a moral responsibility to protect God's creation for generations to come. That is why today, we named members to the Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. Hashtag Act on Climate. Haley replied, Does God's creation not include protecting babies as well Madam Speaker? A committee on that issue would be welcome. On Thursday, Pelosi announced nine Democratic members to the new Select Committee on the Climate Crisis, NBC News reported. The American people have spoken and demanded bold action to take on the climate crisis, which is the existential threat of our time, Pelosi said in a statement. The Democratic Party has been under fire from pro-life advocates for recent abortion legislation signed into law by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and comments by Virginia Governor Ralph Northam on the subject. The Reproductive Health Act permits abortions up to the time of birth for the broadly termed health of the mother and revokes the requirement for medical care for babies born alive after a failed abortion, according to the Liberty Council. The law also repeals language that classified the death of the child in the womb as a homicide. Pro-life supporters have long pointed to the inconsistency in the legal treatment of the unborn child in cases involving violence against the pregnant mother leading to the baby's death versus when the mother chooses to have an abortion. In the first case, the perpetrator can be found guilty of murder in three-quarters of the states, whereas in the second instance the U.S. Supreme Court has defined abortion as a constitutional right. In other words, the unborn child's rights are entirely dependent on the mother's frame of mind. Last month, Northam made headlines while advocating for a late-term abortion bill in Virginia. He said if a baby were born alive under the provisions of the proposed law, the infant would be kept comfortable. While a discussion ensued between the mother and her physicians about whether to keep the child alive, CNBC reported. President Donald Trump spoke to the issue during his State of the Union address earlier this week, saying, To defend the dignity of every person, I am asking the Congress to pass legislation to prohibit the late-term abortion of children who can feel pain in the mother's womb. Let us work together to build a culture that cherishes innocent life. And let us reaffirm a fundamental truth, all children, born and unborn are made in the holy image of God," he added. Trump echoed these thoughts at the National Prayer Breakfast on Thursday, proclaiming, every life is sacred, and every soul is a precious gift from heaven. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.